Well, good day everyone. It's uh, Easter weekend, and uh, that normally means plenty of opportunity to get out on the water and go fishing, but we're currently in a state of lockdown, and here in New Zealand, they've decided we're not allowed to go fishing. So it's been a couple of weeks now, no fishing, and starting to get a few withdrawals. But I'm a little bit fortunate I live on a place with a river boundary, so what I've got here, a rod and reel, rusty old knife, a little bit of old squid I had in the freezer. We're going to go down the creek, or the river, and uh, we're going to see if we can catch us an eel. Uh, and hopefully we'll get an eel, we'll bring it back up, we'll prep it, we'll smoke it. Smoked eel is absolutely delicious, so... Um, yeah, this might just cure the uh, withdrawal symptoms for a little bit. Well, here's the river. Not much of a river at the moment. We've got a bit of a drought happening, but uh, yeah. Not too sure where I want to try and fish, but uh, find somewhere maybe a little bit better than this. All right, well, I've just found a nice little spot. There's a nice little area down by the river here. There's a nice deep little pool in here where it's not much current so the bait will sit in the water nicely there so uh, I think what we'll do is we'll chuck a bait on the hook and get going got a nice bit of smelly old squid here god knows how long these have been in my freezer but uh, got a couple of hooks this is sort of a snapper rig but uh, you know we're making do There we are. Look at that. Hopefully, a nice fat eel is going to want to eat that. All right, here we go. In the water. Oh. All right, now we wait. been less than a minute I just turned the camera off and I'm already just getting little nudges here so there must already be an eel come to eat this there it is yep and it's on haha <laughs> not much of a fight but oh oh whatever it is it's in there. I think he might have gone in this hole. Well, looks like he's stuck in his hole. Might have to come under here. Stand on this bloody rock thing. Yeah, it didn't take him long. Can't see him, but he's all stirred up all the ground from swimming hard. So he's obviously gone into his hole. Oh, he's on there. He's just going in his hole. Maybe this little rod and reel might not have been the best thing to try and take him on with. Oh, oh dear. Um, right, let's go and see if we can pull from a different angle. Here we go. Put the camera in there. All right. Probably got lots of stuff on the road. 
All right. Wow, this is interesting. Oh, yep. Come on. Oh. Oh. It just came out. Oh. Well, it just came off. What a bugger. Well, all right. I just put it back down in front of the hole again. And um, I'm getting inquiries again. There we go. Let's look at that rod tip. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yep. Oh, there he is. Here he is, so we've got one on. It's not a big one. Not a bad one though. Oh, here he is. Not the big one that the last one was. This isn't bad. We'll bring this around here. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Come on, come on. Come on, here we go. Yes. A good thump on the head. Sort of dispatches them fairly quickly, but uh, yeah, we've got one. Awesome. Might have another go. All right, we've got another love, likely sort of looking spot here. We've got fantails buzzing around, eating the insects. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we've got another likely looking spot here. Sort of the water just goes quite quiet, you know, sort of a little off the way sort of a place. So we're going to drop it in here and uh, see what happens. I'm trying to do all this one handed. I, I, my head strap for my, um, for my GoPro is actually not here. So we're sort of doing all this one handed. That's why the footage might end up being a little bit funny but uh, yeah guess we'll get it right in the end oh yeah I'm getting bitten here you can just see the wide tip bending there we go yep oh thought I had him then Come on, buddy. Here he goes. Yep, got him now. Yep, there we go. Ooh, this is a big one. Oh, yep. Oh, this is a better one. Boy. Oh. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, here we go. Oh. oh no. I hooked up in the weed. We're hooked up in the weed. That's not good. Oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, yes. That's more like it. That's a nice fat eel. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, that's a fatty. That's going to be a good feed. Yes. Now, we just got to find something to dispatch him with. All right, we found something decent to whack him on the head with now. Yeah, that got him. That got the nerves. All right, he's actually a good eel, this guy. Going to be plenty of meat on him. Awesome. 
Well, I think we're done. We've only been down here about half an hour. <laughs> There's plenty of eels on this creek. I think my uh, goal now is to get back up to the house and we'll show you how we prep these guys up for smoking. All right, well, we've made it back to the house and uh, wouldn't you know it, here's that woman head strap that I was looking for and couldn't find and then I get back and sure enough, there it is. Typical. Anyway, we've got our two eels here and the first thing you'll notice, well, you won't notice, the first thing I know about them is they're actually covered with a slime. They're really slimy, slippery, and they pick up all the all the dirt and everything all sticks to them. The first thing we want to do is get that get that slime off. And uh, the best way I know how to do it is actually dragging them along the tar seal. So we're going to tie them on the back of the ute, and we're going to take them for a little drive up and down the road a couple of k's. What they'll do is they'll that the tar seal will slide along them and it'll just take all the slime off. Works works a treat. Or well, it used to work a treat anyway back in the day and I'm sure it will now. Alright, well we've had mixed results with the de-sliming. The little one's beautifully de-slimed. There's no slime on that at all now. But the big one uh, lay on its side, just on the one side. So one side's actually, it's rubbed off through the skin and into the meat, which is a bit of a shame. And then the other side there's still a, like a little bit of slime hanging in there, so yeah, mixed results. Uh, we'll give them a wash off now, and uh, we'll lop the. What we're basically going to do now, we'll lop the head and the tail off, and then we'll split them in half, pull the guts out, cut them into sections, and uh, we'll put some salt and some brown sugar on them. We'll throw them in the fridge overnight, and tomorrow we'll chuck them in the smoker and smoke them up. Got all the meat uh, cut up and prepped here. This, is, this one's still twitching, it's so fresh. Um, and yeah, it's all salted up now, so I'm just going to put it in this container. We'll leave it overnight and tomorrow we will chuck it in the smoker. Right, the eel's back out of the fridge, all the salt soaked in. We're just going to give it a light coat of the, some of the soft brown sugar. Load it up in the basket and uh, get it in the smoker. Alright, we put some wood chips in the uh, little smoking compartment on this thing. It's basically how this thing works, it just heats up these wood chips. And uh, they start to smolder. It feeds it into the chamber. We'll just close this down until it starts smoking a little. Oh, we're smoking there already. That's nice. Alright, I think we can chuck our fish in oh yeah oh yeah look at that Ooh. shut this up let it go hello all right been about 20 minutes half an hour I suppose and uh, here we have it look at that I'd say they're done. Bones are peeling away from the flesh, so I guess it's time to pull it out and we'll get it out, we'll get it laid out and then we can we can try some. Alright. Here we go, look at this. We better try some. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Well, there you have it. Smoked eel. Fresh from 500 meters that way. The river. All down on site. Didn't have to leave the property. And, uh, man, this is, this is pretty good, eh? This is pretty damn good, so... Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one, eh? I'm going <laughs> to go in and have a good feed of this now. See ya.